हे हाय हेलो वेलकम बैक टू मैनी वीडियो दिस संपत्ति वाचिंग संपत सैम एफेक्ट्स यूट्यूब चैनल एंड दिस इज पोको एक्स थ्री कस्टम रोम रिव्यूज यू कैन सी हियर इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दिस म्यू एक्स एडिशन इट्स म्यू ए बेस्ड कस्टम रोम्स पीपल सम पीपल लाइक दिस कैंड ऑफ कस्टम रोम्स एंड यू कैन सी देर इज ए म्यू ए फोर्टीन कस्टमाइजेशन यू कैन सी बट इट्स एन म्यू ए थर्टीन एडिशन यू कैन सी इन टू माई डिवाइस यू कैन सी म्यू एक्स थर्टीन पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट वन स्टेबल एडिशन इट इज इफ ए गोइन टू आल स्पेक्स यू कैन सी हियर एंड्रॉड वर्सन इज ऑल्सो ट्वेल नॉट इट्स ए एंड्रॉड थर्टी एंड द कर्नल फोर पॉइंट वन फोर पॉइंट वन एंड जीरो पफ कर्नल हेज बीन यूज हियर दैट्स हाउ इट इज यू गेट टू जी बी एडिशनल एक्स्ट्रा रॉम फीचर दैट इज अ वर्चुअल रॉम इट विल डॉन्ट डोंट मेक एनी ह्यूज डिफरेंस कंपेर्ड टू एक्चुअल रॉम इट्स ए वर्चुअल रैम now i have been running the cp thread link test actually i took a screenshot as you can see for last 10 minutes and 21 seconds you can see the maximum was 192 and average is 168 and minimum was 121 which is total to 82% of its max performance in this mui x edition which is good in my opinion but there is some time where it can go as low as 121 million jps then you can have idea here it might go to that minimum scores also because of this application the cpu throttle link test if you want to judge like that then you can go to but in day to day performance and actual performance is really good in this particular rom considering it's an android tool rom and you can see it's a typical home screen you get but with added extra features like this type of you can edit the folder enlarged and huge and even regular suggest highlighted apps just select like this if you just press here the file manager will directly open from here and again here also you can see edit icon themes you can actually customize them but not as in the like if i press and hold like this i won't get any special features as we see in the miui 14 as you can see this all typical miui 12 12.13 widgets only but in the home screen there are some customizations that i really liked it appreciated it and dialer you get a miui dialer proper and you get a direct video call feature here and call recording feature is also there but that will not announce the other person you are recording the call which is good thing people like it isn't it that's present here and again if i move into settings this is settings panel it is smooth let's check the display settings and uh, refresh it kept to 120 let me keep to 120 it was 60 at first and now you can see there is little bit of difference as you can see and these recent apps also you can customize i will show within a while before that i will start from wallpaper and personalization you get here wallpapers as you can see this will not get downloaded i tried print of times ever a notification you get call recorded and you get these kind of wallpapers here nothing new here that's how it is and notifications again you get these kind of options alarms also that's similar to mia 13 only nothing new and lock screen customization again you get all the options here what you can expect from miui and display again you get dark theme which is in pitch black condition as you can see and this quick settings panel is also miui 14 style as you can see it is arranged vertically and even the toggles are arranged neatly here and more dark options you can share it out more dark options has been given here let me switch to light mode yes color schemes again you get these three things if want you can even choose the other temperature color temperature options from here font settings you get me chance and this one will be reverted back to themes application you need to download and use them sound and vibration simple settings you can see silent mode in silent media and silent mode do not disturb mode you get plenty of options if you enable that okay on it and you can check out here notify about calls you can select from here a repeated calls and haptic feedback level is not given just you should enable or disable from your sound effects again direct sound settings you get here 
that's the only thing you get you won't get any dolby atmos or anything like that and notification control panel i already shown you shades you can choose muir under and expand top notification so weather information you can enable or disable from here smart home you can keep the mi home application or google home if you install and use the smart home applications status bar again these things you can enable or disable from here i'll keep this a battery outside of the icon and notch in individual apps for certain app if it is not playing you can select like this always show notch then it will be played in full screen now coming back here home screen here you get lot of customization animation speed you get relaxed balanced and fast i keep it fast if you want you can keep relaxed also default launcher is the mi launcher this is and system navigation gesture settings as it is it is nothing new here and moving back to like home screen with the app drawer you get and this one is not working here app vault as you can see minus one screen itself is missing here that's the bug i have noticed here and minus one screen i already explained double tap to lock screen has been given new unlock animation let's try that i have recognized this face has been recognized here this the animation you get here and you can see this all the recent apps arranged like this there will be a little bit of lag once or twice but overall it's fine in my opinion and again explaining the home screen settings you get home screen layout here you can choose up to 9 into 16 which is a huge one and home screen search bar also you can select here monet for search bar old digits provide refund you can enable them floodler blur and bounce effect has been included app type in one line you can enable or disable and again icon settings and background color i mean these are like monet settings if i want to show you something like i'll select brown here now some of the icons should change to brown but it hasn't applying here that's the bug i have noticed let's try blue at least no none of them are changing here it's a bug in other roms i have noticed it will work but that's how it is icon size you can change and even style if you install certain themes you can change from here this all the options other options you get in the home screen customization this one arrange items in recent so you can choose ios style and recent and portrait task size you can increase or decrease from here even the landscape mode blur in recent and recent dim you want to make it out high status bar high task style and hide fold floating windows restart launcher these all the things has been given here if i go back and check out this passwords and security as i said face unlock fingerprint unlock and screen lock these three things have been given face unlock is very very quick just see it's get unlocked you need to select the option stay on lock screen you need to disable then it will and i mean unlock the smartphone instantly and fingerprint unlock i want to show this touch and press both options are given i kept to touch here if you want you can keep you on press also those are working when mi ui is meant for fast unlocking that's going to happen here that's our passwords and security safety and emergency you get these kind of options battery again you get a balance save battery performance mode you can see the charging speed here and the ideal battery drain which is really good in my opinion this is a very good efficient room and the performance i will show you within a while wait a second and ultra battery saver and battery saver is given i kept performance mode and run the geekbench scores you can see the scores here which is quite good you won't achieve these scores in at least aosp or oss roms here it's possible 553 single score and multi score 1775 with android version 12 and linux 4.14.190 puff kernel has been used here that's the battery settings you get you can see the screen on time also here and even if you drag like this you can see the temperature and the battery usage also you can check out here good normal poor based on the colors as you can see green and the other color is between good and normal that's how it is this is one more customized visual change i can notice in this particular rom it is good in my opinion apps again you can choose from here the default apps also you can change app locker is given dual apps and permission this kind of options has been included additional settings again region change it to your specific region it's not going to happen here it's fixed okay language and input you can choose here 
default is a Google keyboard clear speaker options has been given accessibility menu is also working for memory extension only up to 2 GB that's given here screen time digital well-being who will use it I don't know and privacy and location settings are working fine no problem regarding that settings panel is smooth here the animations are cool here and moving to some of the other settings like I have explained this CPU throttling test and you get 33 watt charging support which is quite interesting in this particular ROM it is charging fastly and you get a MIUI camera the NX camera all the features are working fine no problem here even the macro mode as you can see working fine no problem regarding that it's, you can see here I expected a Leica mode but you get some of the options like this one what the super moon mode and some movie effects that is not present on uh, we the actual stock rooms that's good thing here and FM radio obviously it's available and I have 100 mps plan here it is pulling up to 90 to 95 mps which is not a problem and I have installed this Arnobel Gcam also you get both the camera applications such that if you want to take any picture any kind of picture it's possible in this room even with MIUI camera and even with Gcam port you can use any port I'm just showing here Arnobel that's my favorite camera port for Poco X and screen recorder again you get options up to 90 fps frame rate has been given here and orientation and even you can see this system sounds mic mute fixed frame rate option has been given show button taps and gestures these things has been given here and security application you get similar to any other options as you can see you get plenty of options from here and that's it we'll move to settings and uh, additional settings i already shown you nothing more here special features you get light mode second space and floating windows that's present from your 12.5 13 has been improved a bit that's it this how the rom you can see the quick settings panel is also smooth here nothing bad here i felt a little bit better the mua recall in addition this one is also good but this is latest one hence you can flash it out if you want a mua based custom rom then you can go ahead and flash it out and pubg mobile you will get disappointed here because you get the graphic settings set to only ultra here you can see here nothing high here just to get these options and i really like this volume panel here as you can see it's very tiny and simple here if i again show you as you can see that i really liked it and you get this new gaming mode here all the features are working fine here if and you can keep to performance mode here and the gameplay i was expecting 90 fps gameplay here i mean option that's simply missing they had an opportunity to add that but they didn't i don't know why that makes people to flash this rom that could be the game changer if they would have added but anyhow you can enable it out using gfx tool okay that's it this is my review on this MIUI X edition which is fine here but you won't get updates for this i don't know when you will get the next update for this if you are bored with stock roms like custom like this one the aosp and oss roms then you can switch to this and have some fun and use it for a couple of days and switch back to your favorite roms that's my verdict you won't get any updates if you want to use it as a daily driver also you can use but i don't recommend so i don't know wh when this will get updated and which rom will be better for you in terms of me i am saying that's the only thing backside here and that's it if they want to improve they should add 90 fps option and the widgets as we see in the me 14 that they can add it out that's it we'll meet you with another interesting video guys before that if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon whenever i upload a new video you will get notified and if you like the video give it a like also and we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smelling baba for now